This episode of The Bright Sessions is brought to you by Casper, a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize its lines of products to create an exceptionally comfortable sleep experience one night at a time. Get $50 off any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com slash therapy and using promo code therapy at checkout. So what did she say? I don't know, just that like there was something we all needed to talk about, something to do with Damien. Shit. Yeah. You know, you didn't have to come with me. Sam made it sound like it's going to be a bit of an atypical family meeting or something. So what, I can't come just because I'm not atypical? No, that's not what I mean, Adam. Dr. Bright's not atypical and she's going to be there, right? Yeah, probably. Do you not want me there? No, of course I do. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything, all right? Oh, come on, Caleb, if you have something to say, just say it. I just don't want you mixed up in all the drama, that's all. What drama? The atypical shit. I'm dating you, I am mixed up in it. Gee, thanks. I don't mean that your drama, although you're being a bit dramatic right now. Yeah, I know. I'm so, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be weird. I'm, I'm just... Just what? It's been bad recently, right? Like, I don't want to make it worse. You're not going to make it worse. I know I haven't been the easiest boyfriend lately. Caleb. And the last thing I want to do is make you sadder by dragging you through whatever horrible thing Damien's done now. You're not going to make me sadder. But I already have. All my mood swings and stuff recently, my, my anger... That has nothing to do with it. Yes, it does. See, you're getting annoyed at me right now. I'm not getting annoyed at you. I'm just frustrated. Because of me. Oh my god, Caleb. Not everything's about you. That's why I'm frustrated. I've told you before, when things get bad, when my depression gets bad, it's not because of something you did or didn't do. Sometimes it just happens. But I've been difficult lately. I know I have. You've been going through a tough time. I'm not going to begrudge you that. But you're going through a tough time, too. I know. And I know that you want to be my superhero, even when you feel just as bad as I do, and I love that about you. But you can't fix this. All you can do is just be there. And you, and you are. Stop stressing about it. Oh, yeah. I'll get right on that. Caleb. I just don't want to make it worse. You'll tell me if I ever make it worse, right? Yeah, but things can never be worse when I'm with you. Dork. Meathead. You don't... You don't, you don't think you'll be there, right? No. No way. I mean, right? The, there's no way Sam would let that dude into her house. Not again. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, I got you. You don't need to be afraid of him. I just know what it did to you. What it still does to you sometimes. Yeah, no, you're right. We're here. Right. You're not scared of me, though, right? Of course not. I just never want to go through that again. Yeah, you and me both. Good, you're here. Um, hi? Yeah, sorry. Hi, guys. Things are a bit hectic at the moment. Come on in. I just don't think this is appropriate. I'm the one that came to you about the AM in the first place. Still, Sam shouldn't have roped you into this evening. I didn't rope her in. Oh, good. Now the children are here. Hey. hey. Sorry, boys. It's nice to see you. What's going on? Hey, who's the new kid? Hi, this I'm is Rose. Rose. And who is Rose? A patient. Ah, yikes. See, Adam understands how out of line this is. Joan, you called me, freaked that Damien was back and apparently friends with one of your patients. What was I supposed to do? I wasn't freaked. I merely wanted you to know that Damien was interfering again. And I thought it was important for Rose to know who it was she was talking to. And I'd still love to know. Yeah, can someone please tell us what the hell is going on? Damien is back. Oh, hey Mark. Yeah, we got that. What, what does he want? Your guess is as good as ours. He's been back for, like, a few weeks, though, hasn't he? I mean, he's he's been out. Now he's back in our lives. No, he isn't. He's in Rose's life. I barely know the guy. And yet you brought him to your therapist. Mark. Okay, seriously, just someone start from the beginning and explain why you all feel so worried. Caleb's an empath. Gee, thanks, Sam. It's okay, she's one of us. Right, because we can always trust other atypicals. Rose is a patient of mine. She met Damien and thought I might be able to help him. As you can imagine, the reunion did not go well. How do you even know Damien in the first place? We met at the AM. You work with the AM? No, I've been a patient there. Why? Because I needed help. The AM isn't all bad. <laughs> oh, good. We're doing this again? She's right. I was having a hard time balancing my ability, and they helped. What does that mean? I dreamwalk. 
I grew a bit dependent on it. Apparently the AM has an excellent 12-step program. Mark. Actually, they sort of do. Although, they have a bit of a blind spot when it comes to traditional non-ability-related addictions. What, have you been going to the AM too? I've gone to observe a few times. They let you do that? They don't know that I'm there. I time travel. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's cool. Can we get back to the topic, please? What the hell do you mean that you dream walk? I can go into people's dreams. What? That's a thing? Yes, it's a thing. And I was at the AM for it, and I traveled into Damien's dream and saw a lot of weird and creepy stuff. Well, it was the inside of Damien's head. This was creepy stuff about the AM. They did stuff to him. That's why I brought him to Dr. Bright. I found him as we were being discharged, and I got the whole story about what happened to him, and I thought it was important that Dr. Bright know. He never told me anything about how he used to be your patient or about any of you. What did he tell you? He said he was brought to the AM because another atypical attacked him. Bullshit. I'm sorry? He wasn't attacked. It was self-defense. I'm guessing you guys know something about this. It was me. I'm the one who hurt him. Why? Because he threatened to kidnap me? What? Why don't we all sit down? Mind grabbing me a glass, too? Sure thing. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't feel like reliving the whole thing again. I get that. So you've been going back to the AM? Um, yeah, just a bit. Have you... Have you seen her when you've gone back? Yeah, I have. Is it as bad as Mark said? Adam... Just tell me, please. Do I come from a family of monsters? Adam, no. No, of course not. Just Annabelle. It's... Why don't we go back into the living room? No, come on, Sam. Just tell me. It's not mine to tell. It's not yours to spy on either, but you're doing that. I try to stay objective. Just get the data I need for our project. Are you telling me that you can stay objective when you're watching your boyfriend get psychologically abused? I... I don't go back to when Mark was there. Or... If I do, I don't go looking for him. Don't you want to know? No. I don't need to see that. He's told me what he's comfortable with, and I believe him. I don't need to know anything more. Yeah, all right. You're right. Your parents, they love what they do, and they care about the people they work with. You've... Yeah. I needed to know more. Does Frank know? I try to avoid him, too. In the past, I mean. I don't want to spy on my friends, but I honestly don't know how to bring it up with him. Especially now that Chloe's gone. Frank and I understand each other, I think, but we don't always know how to talk to each other without her. How is she doing? Good. I talked to her on the phone yesterday. She says one week in quiet and the headaches have already started to recede. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I'm... Well, I'm not getting closer to a solution, but I'm hopeful. For what it's worth, I think that it's great what you and Dr. Bright are doing. Thanks. It's not much of anything at the moment, but maybe someday. Adam, can I ask you something? Mm, Sure. Do you think your parents would be interested in being involved somewhere down the line? We could really use some actual MD expertise. You'd trust them? I told you they care. They're good at what they do. Maybe they've worked some questionable jobs, but they care. Unlike Annabelle. Adam. How could I not see it? I grew up idolizing her. And she was always so in command, so impressive. And she loved me. I'm sure she still does. But how can she love me and then do what she did to Mark? There's probably a whole bunch of others. I don't think people are that simple. Being able to love doesn't mean you can love everyone. Yeah, I know, I know. The spectrum of empathy and all that. It's a bit harder to understand when you're in the middle of it. Yeah, and her caring about me doesn't change what she's done to other people. It doesn't make it okay. No, it doesn't. But you think my parents are different? That they have more empathy than Annabelle? Yes, I do. Okay, then I'll think about it talking to my parents about your project. They're not always thrilled about the atypical stuff in my life. Hypocrites. (laughs) But I'll think about it. Thanks, Adam. 
Ready to go back in? Yeah. God, I had no idea. Yeah, he's pretty good at making you believe he's a decent guy, believe me. After everything you just told me, I definitely do. What do we miss? Just Damien's whole sordid history with the people in this room. Yeah, and now it's your turn. What did you guys talk about? Mostly just about our experiences at the AM. He said there was a woman, the director or something. I forget her name. It was something kind of silly sounding. Wadsworth. Yeah, that was it. It's a code name. It's the same with green. And bright. Yes, and bright. And you guys know this Wadsworth. A bit. She's my aunt. What? What did she do to Damien? Um... It's okay, you can tell us. It can't be any worse than what we've already heard. Never know. He said she spent weeks interrogating him about his life, his ability. That she kept him handcuffed to the bed so he couldn't escape, while she sent in person after person to test his ability out. Did he tell you what his ability is? No, not yet, but he must have pretty good control over it because he just seems like a normal guy to me. Seriously? I mean, you didn't notice anything weird about him? I mean, he's a bit of a drama queen, but other than that... He can't do it anymore. Yes, that was my thought as well after we heard he was being released. Ellie wouldn't have let him go if he was still totally in control. But we need confirmation. I'm confirming it. His power is gone. How do you know? He called me. What? When? Yesterday. He was wasted, going on and on about how we never got drunk before, but now it didn't matter because his ability is gone. That explains the late afternoon hangover. How is this possible? I thought abilities couldn't be removed. They can't. Then how- It was me, wasn't it? No, Caleb, it's not your fault. Who cares if it was his fault? If anything, I'd say Caleb did us all a favor. Adam. Sorry, babe. You know I don't mean it like that. It's just, isn't it a good thing if Damien can't use his power anymore? I'm sorry, what exactly could he do? Mind control. Are you serious? No, it's not mind control. Well, it sure fucking felt like it. He can manipulate your emotions. Make you feel things, do things. Oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty awful. I think he tried to tell me. Yesterday. I was teasing him about hiding something You and were teasing Damien? I thought he was a normal guy. Or at least as normal as me. Are we sure he doesn't have his power anymore? I didn't feel anything when I saw him yesterday but I didn't exactly stick around to find out. No, that's a good point, Adam. Maybe he was still influencing you somehow, making you like him. You think? It's possible. Whatever, power or no power, you should stay away from him. Agreed. Yeah, I will. So, are we okay? Damien's not gonna come after Caleb or, or anything, right? I can take care of myself. That's not what I'm worried about. Damien didn't give any indication that he wants revenge. What did he say to you when you saw him? Not much. I was mostly concerned with how he knew Rose, and once they explained, he said he could tell he wasn't wanted, and he left. I'm really sorry. I never would have brought him back into your lives had I known. It's not your fault. This is exactly why we need some kind of atypical network. What do you mean? It's important for us to look out for each other. Atypicals are just like regular people in the sense that there are bad ones and good ones, but the bad atypicals seem to fly under the radar a lot more than regular criminals. So what? You want your organization to carry out some kind of vigilante justice? No, that's not what I'm saying. What organization? Sam and my sister here are trying to start a counter-AM. Really? Atypicals need the resources that the AM offers, but it's not worth the cost of what the AM does. We're going to do it better. Ethically. More ethically. And how are you planning on dealing with someone like Damien? Well... I don't know yet. We all agreed that when he got out, we would just try and move on with our lives and ignore him, but he's already committed a number of crimes, and if we think he might again... How does the AM handle that kind of stuff? If an atypical commits a crime, they go to prison like any other person. Except the prisons are higher security. And top secret, I'm guessing? Yes. Yeah, except it's not like any other person who breaks the law because there's no due process. What? No trial, no judge, no jury. That's not entirely accurate. The process is similar to a grand jury or military tribunal. Oh, is that what they told you? I'm sorry? That's a nice fantasy, Joan, but it's not true. If they think an atypical is too dangerous to be out in the world and they've experimented on them as much as they can, then they just put the person away. There's no grand jury, no appeals process, nothing. Who told you that? Maybe you forgot that I was in one of those prisons for four years. I know a lot more about your former employer than you do, Joan. Okay, you guys are freaking me out. 
I apologize, Rose. Well, she needs to know. She is not in danger from the AI. How do you know? Guys, can you please stop? Let's not go down this road again. Jesus, uh, sorry, Caleb, are- Caleb, are, are you all right? Take some deep breaths for me, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get some tea. Uh, Sam? Yeah, I'll get the kettle. Come on. You guys can't go off like that in front of him. You know that. Hey, he's not the only one who's letting his emotions get the better of him, okay? Right. Of course. I'm sorry. No, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't let myself get trapped in a cycle like that. I'm just stressed. You're an empath too? No. No, I, uh, I can share people's powers. Really? Wow. Yeah, we're quite a group. What can you do? What? Your ability. What is it? Oh, I'm not. I'm just... I'm not special like all you guys. <laughs> Adam is like me, an average human with a lot of atypical friends. But you and Caleb... Yeah? You guys are together. Yeah, we are. Is that a problem? Hey, yeah, chill. I'm gay too. I, I just... You're cool with it? Having an atypical boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. That's good to know, though. Thanks. You're welcome. I've been thinking about telling my girlfriend, but I'm not sure how she's going to react. Gotcha. I just assumed all atypical couples were like my parents or Mark and Sam here. You know, both people atypical. I dated plenty of non-atypical people before Sam. She's actually my first atypical relationship. Really? Yep. Although, I never told any of the people I dated about me. That was mostly my doing, I'm afraid. I told him never to tell anyone. Yeah, but you're right, Joni. Having people know is dangerous. I'm not dangerous. No, you're not. But my family is. I didn't say that. Let's not start attacking each other again, please. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I have to ask, though. If Damien is really as dangerous as you guys say, why isn't he in prison? I... I have a theory. Okay. I think Ellie Wadsworth is hoping that Damien's ability will eventually come back. If she put him away or continued to experiment on him, he might not heal properly. But if he returns to his life in some semblance of normalcy... He'll bounce back. I think that's her hope. But if his ability makes him dangerous, why would she want that? I imagine she'd want to use it for something. Make another drug. Like the immunity. Exactly. What the hell are you guys talking about? Wadsworth is immune to atypicals. How? I don't know. Bet you have a theory, though. I do. Care to share with the class? No. But what could Annabelle do with Damien's ability? She can't use it. She can't even be affected by it. Well, we know that the AM has used atypical biology to... Weaponize abilities. Oh, fuck. But if Damien's power is gone, then it doesn't matter. The AM can't use it, and he can't use it, and we're all, we're all fine. Right? That's the hope. But it could come back. And we could all die in a fiery bus crash tomorrow, but what's the point of worrying about it? Oh, that's not morbid at all. I just want us prepared for every eventuality. What eventualities are we talking about here? Damien getting his power back and turning it on us again? Or getting his power back and Wadsworth using it for something? Or maybe he'll just keep doing whatever he's been doing since he got out of the AM. And we're trusting that whatever he's been doing has been on the up and up? He doesn't seem to be doing much except day drinking and getting coffee with me. Which he then asked me to pay for. He asks? Yeah? Politely. I wouldn't go that far. But he hasn't been bothering us. So if he wants to leave us alone, shouldn't we just let it be? And if, if something happens, we'll just bring him back to the AM. Because that worked out so well last time. It should have been the end of it. I don't get what kind of game Wadsworth is playing. Whatever Annabelle is up to, it doesn't matter. We can't just wait for Damien to snap and do something again. He's still dangerous. And so am I. That's what you're all worried about, isn't it? That he'll do something and I'll finish what I started? What? You're scared. I can feel it. Of course I'm scared. The man who tried to kidnap me is back circling me and, I, and the people that I love. God, you don't get it. None of you do. I know she's not a good person, but my aunt clearly has a lot of people who want to hurt her. And who knows what my parents... I, I'm an easy target. I would never let anything happen. I know, Caleb, but you're not with me every second of the day. And I'm sorry I love you too much to let you do something like that again. I'd rather be kidnapped than watch you go through what you've been going through the last three months. Adam. Damien wanted to hurt me to get my family. 
And if atypicals really are just normal people plus, then there are going to be others out there who are angry, who are violent, atypicals who want revenge. And I'm, I'm in the middle of that. That's, that's why I'm scared. I'm not scared of you, Caleb. I could never be scared of you. But you can get lost in your own ability. You all do. And sometimes I wish I could just make you all look up and realize that Dr. Bright and I aren't your sidekicks. Damien fucked with us too. And just because we don't have abilities doesn't mean that we don't get a say. Adam, no one was saying you don't get a say. But this is about you guys and what you think that we should do. It always is. I was never on board with the whole ignore it and move on thing. We should have done something about it the moment that he got out. And we need to do something about it now. But you brought us all here to tell us the plan, not ask our opinions. We don't even have a plan. So let's make one. Together. Okay. Adam, what do you think we should do? I didn't mean it had to be up to me. I just... It's not always about just us. Yeah. I, I wish we could just make him disappear. All right. The way I see it, we have three options. One, we continue what we've been doing. Try to ignore it and hope his ability never comes back. Two, we report him to Wadsworth. Encourage the AM to take him back or to... Imprison him. Given what Marcus said, I don't like that option. No, neither do I. What's the third option? I tell him to leave? That's what you were going to say, wasn't it? I wasn't going to suggest you do it personally. It has to be me. Yes. I think it probably does. And you think he'll just go? He's powerless. He knows the AM is watching. I have a feeling that the way he set up his life is going to start to crumble without his ability. There's nothing left for him here. Well... At least. There won't be if you tell him to go. Yeah. But what if he leaves and then gets his powers back? And we're just, like, unleashing him on people who have no idea what he can do. But at least Wadsworth wouldn't get her hands on him. And I can find a way to keep an eye on him, just in case. A way that would ideally make it so we knew before Ellie did. Exactly. But this way, he would at least be out of our lives. It's... Imperfect, but it might be our best option. Is everyone comfortable with that? Trying to just encourage him to go away? You sound skeptical. I haven't found that method particularly effective in the past. I'd personally like to see him face actual consequences, but if that means he's going to be locked away without a trial, I mean, God, the regular justice system is bleak enough already. Yeah, I think beating the guy's head in and making him powerless is enough justice for me. I would definitely like to be able to walk around knowing I'm not going to run into him. Rose? Oh, um, I don't think I'm really part of this, but sure. At least now he's not the only atypical I know outside my family anymore. Your whole family's atypical? That is so cool. Mark? Yeah. Yeah, that's the right move. Okay, then. That's that. God, I can't believe we just did that again. What? Stood panicked in my living room trying to decide Damien's fate. Let's make it the last time we do that, shall we? Yes, please. Okay, boys, it's late. You should be getting home. Rose, we should talk about finding you a new therapist. Thanks for driving us tonight. Yeah, of course. You know I'm always happy to and, you know... High stress situations? Yeah, exactly. Do you want to talk about it? What? Adam. Oh, you mean me totally freaking out on your friends and former therapist? They're your friends too. After tonight, who knows? No, come on, it, it wasn't bad. It's, it was just... Unexpected? Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't get why you were scared. I should have just asked you about it. Yeah, you should have. Things are never as dire as you make them out in your head, Caleb. Wow. You, of all people, do not have the higher ground on that. Okay, yeah, good point. But still, you can talk to me. I'm not going to freak out on you. I feel like I feel like I've proven that. I know you have. I, I just... What? I don't think you get how much I love you. Yeah, Caleb, I think I do. I feel the same way. How? How are you still asking me that after all this time? My life is so weird. Right? And, and even without all the extra atypical drama, I'm always going to be like this. 
I'm always going to know what you're feeling and sometimes it's going to make me do or say stupid fucking things and I know you're able to overlook that now but eventually it's going to get old and you're going to realize that you want to be with someone normal. Are you, are you fucking kidding me right now? What? I don't overlook it, Caleb. I love your ability. Yeah, it drives me nuts sometimes because sometimes I want to hide from my own feelings and I can't when you're around but it also makes you who you are. I wouldn't want to change that. I, I, I wish I wish it didn't make things hard for you, but that doesn't mean I wish it away. Yeah, that's how you feel now, though. Why are you so worried that my feelings are going to change? Because I'll know. Don't you get it? I, I know you love me. Of course I do, because I can feel it. I, I don't understand how or why, but I know it's there, and I'll know when it's gone. And I... The thought of feeling that from you... That scares the fuck out of me. I, you have no idea how much that scares me, Adam. You're right. I don't. Because I don't have your ability. Just like, I don't know how I'll feel about you in a year, or five, or, or twenty. And you don't know how you'll feel about me. I can't promise that I'll love you forever, because we're, we're 17. And I have no fucking clue what I'm doing, but I love you now. And I can't imagine ever not feeling this way. I know, but... That's because it's just you and me. It's it's so easy when it's you and me, you know? It's 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 green. Yeah. But there's like there's a great big world out there without all this supernatural ability shit, and you might want that. You don't think I'm worried that you're gonna meet some atypical and realize you don't want something normal? That you don't want me? The last thing I need is more atypicals in my life. You know that's not true. You know, if I could make the whole world just you and me, I'd do it. If I could get rid of, of this power or figure out how to turn it off, figure out how to turn the volume down on the whole freaking universe, I'd do it. Just you and me alone in the universe? That could be, that could be pretty okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're way past the curfew. Your parents are gonna kill me. They don't exist, remember? It's just you and me and the whole universe. Dork. Meathead. Come on, five more minutes? Yeah. This episode of The Bright Sessions is brought to you by Casper. Casper's mattresses are designed by humans for humans. The original Casper mattress combines multiple supportive memory foams for a quality sleep surface with just the right sink and just the right bounce. Considering we spend one third of our lives on a mattress, it's so important to truly sleep on a mattress before committing. That's why Casper gives you 100 nights to try it out. And these mattresses are really comfortable. So comfortable that our next episode, episode 48, was partially recorded on a Casper mattress. No, I am not kidding. It'll make sense, I promise. But now I wish we could record every episode that way. You can get $50 towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com therapy and using the promo code therapy at checkout. Terms and conditions apply. Once again, that's $50 toward any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com therapy and using the promo code therapy at checkout. Episode 47 was written and directed by Lauren Chippen and produced by Misha Stanton. The voice of Adam is Alex Gallner. The voice of Caleb is Brigham Snow. The voice of Sam is Lauren Shippen. The voice of Dr. Bright is Julia Morizawa. The voice of Rose is Alana Fox. And the voice of Mark is Andrew Nowak. Our music is composed and performed by Evan Cunningham. We are so excited to announce that, as of the new year, we've reached our goal of 1,000 patrons, which means that we'll be bringing you nine bonus episodes starting in June. Thank you so much to everyone who has pledged to us on Patreon. We could not make the show without you. If you'd like to join our strange and unusual family, you can go to patreon.com slash The Bright Sessions. The Bright Sessions will return in two weeks on January 24th with episode 48. Until then, stay strange. Stay strange.